After spending the summer living nomadically primarily in the high desert of Colorado, we headed back to Oklahoma. While in Oklahoma, we filed a green card application, and we took advantage of this time to explore many things that Oklahoma had to offer. In this video, we hope to share with you just some of the highlights of our time in Oklahoma. Some of these things were the local parades and even a pie-eating contest. When we found out that one of the local towns was having a rodeo, we added that to our list of things to see. This rodeo was complete with mutton busting, bull riding, and one of the youngest barrel racers we've ever seen, as well as a historical reenactment by the Guthrie gunfighters. Don't do it! And we can't forget more shenanigans from Stella. And no video would be complete of Oklahoma without some severe weather. We look forward to sharing our adventures with you all. Thank you so much for joining us as we explore the United States. While in Oklahoma, we found a cool spot under a tree in one of the livestock fields in Tara's family's property. Stella was absolutely thrilled to have a space to run free in the fenced off area. One of the local communities was celebrating Western Days. We decided to go check it out. It included a chili cook-off, best dressed cowboy and cowgirl, a pie eating contest, and many other things. We have waters <laughs> and we have some Fritos. Adding Fritos to chili was a completely new concept to me and it actually tastes really good. When done, you got to vote for who had the best chili. <laughs> After the chili cook-off, we caught the tail end of the best dressed cowboy and cowgirl contest. I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen a pie eating contest. When I think of pie eating contests, the first thing that comes to mind is the 1986 movie Stand By Me and the iconic scene in the movie where they have a pie eating contest. Don't worry, I won't ruin it for those who have not seen the movie. Even though this scene didn't play out in real life, the pie eating contest was still a blast to watch. Okay, I'm gonna need everybody's help. We're gonna count to five and they're gonna go for 10 minutes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, go! 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 If you're curious who won the pie eating contest, I'll provide a link in the upper right hand corner for you. It was a pretty close call in the end. Well, Stella's escaped for the second time this week. My best guess. She's crawling through here. And either out that way or that way. You can see that has been pushed up a bit and a bit of a hole has been dug. She's quite the escape artist when she wants to be. Stella, what are you doing? Been off exploring? 
So this is my short term solution. Hopefully this stops her. Time will tell. Seems pretty good. Oh, good girl. Oh, good sit. Good girl. It was also at this time we decided to get a little more serious about our YouTube channel and Instagram account. We had a custom decal made and placed it on the back of the bowler. Living nomadically, we don't seem to stay in the same place for too long. Since we knew we'd be in Oklahoma for a few weeks, Tara decided to get out the twinkle lights and set up a little space for us outdoors. It was almost magical sitting under the twinkle lights, listening to the cicadas in the warm summer night air. Anyone who's ever met Tara in person can attest to the fact that she is very passionate about her knitting. She says it's almost like a form of meditation for her, and even long after the sun has set, she will still be busy at it. So I've been looking for a t-shirt, couldn't find it, and then I found it amongst Stella's bedding, and it looks like she had some fun with it. We, um, we keep our clothes under the bed in milk crates. There's three on one side for Tara and three on the other side. My best guess is that she's been reaching in. Pulling them out when they're not paying attention. Well, I can honestly say, not a big fan of Stella's handiwork when it comes to the fashion department. So, Stella, tell us, what inspired your fashion sense? <coughs> yeah? Anything else you want to tell us about this fall's collection? <coughs> yeah, you like it? <coughs> On the second day of the Mustang Western Days, there was a chuck wagon roundup. A presentation by the Guthrie Gun Club, and a rodeo in the evening, and much, much more. For us, the day started with the town pancake breakfast and the parade. This just happened to be probably one of the longest parades I've ever seen. I think it was over two and a half hours long, and it was very impressive.
After the parade was over, we went to the town park to watch the Guthrie Gunslingers reenactment. And don't worry, all the guns were loaded with blanks. We are based out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Presentation of what might or could have probably never happened in the old way. Our money! Hey! Hey! We need to back up! What? What? It's ours. It's not ours. It's not ours. It's me, the dirty scoundrel. Hey, you know what? Oh, my gosh! You boys, uh... I'm being told that you stole this man's gold, but you are all under arrest for murder yeah. and thievery. All right, boys, last chance to give up peacefully, otherwise we're going to flash it. Don't do it! Next up, we headed to the Chuck Wagon Cook-Off, where different teams competed against each other to cook the best meal from a Chuck Wagon, like the good old days. After a delicious meal, we decided it was time to go back and check on Stella and relax before the big rodeo tonight. Stay. Stay. Okay. After a playful afternoon, Stella was finally exhausted and ready for a nap. That was our cue to head out to the rodeo. This rodeo had several different events to watch, including bull riding, mutton busting, the youngest barrel racer we ever did see, and so much more.
And then, to our surprise, the youngest barrel racer I'd ever seen came out to do the course. She was only two years old. And she did the course like a pro. If you'd like to see the full video, I'll post a link above. Meanwhile, later that night at the bowler, we learned that we could not leave Stella unsupervised in the evenings. It's a hard time keeping Stella out at night because she becomes a toad hunter. Stella, what do you have? What do you have there, Stella? We learned very quickly that there are toads in Oklahoma that as a defense mechanism secrete a toxin that dogs react to. It just so happens that at dusk they come out and they are in abundance on Tara's family's acreage. Stella, with her high prey drive, has taken a keen interest to, in these toads. It does not appear she's managed to eat any of them, but she still likes to run around, trap them with her paws, and attempt to lick them. Talk to the vet about it. You know how these frogs where I come from? And she says, don't worry. Your dog will do it once or twice, and they'll learn. And they'll leave the toads alone. No, uh, that's not the case with my dog. Licking the toads quickly became an obsession for Stella in the evenings. So for her own safety, we once again had to restrict her to leash walks and cables in the evening time. While we were there, Tara also entered an Instagram contest to win a knitting bag. There we go. I won the bag! What bag? This one! Uh, on an Instagram contest? Yes! That you tagged me in? Oh, I'm so excited. That's oh my awesome. goodness. <laughs> this beautiful handcrafted bag from Mood came all the way from Denmark. And Tara has fallen in love with her new knitting bag. Tara was on her way back to the bowler and she called me to come outside for a moment. Not telling me what it is she wanted me to see. I'm assuming it's this. Stella, what happened to the rest of this? Where did the rest of your leash go? Where did it go? Between Stella proving to be an escape artist and becoming a toad hunter at night, even though the cable works great when we're on the road, for some reason it just wasn't working here anymore. This dog definitely keeps us on our toes. Stay tuned for our next video where we go to the Oklahoma State Fair and try some new food. Um, apparently it's a rattlesnake corn dog. So this is apparently rattlesnake nachos. And of course, the great American pig races. Thank you for joining us as we share our adventures of exploring the United States. We are so thankful for each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video. See you next time.